he looks old. No, he don't. He's like a fine grandpa. Okay, I kind <laughs> Oh, I like this ballet five star pickup. Hi! Oh, you walking up, I said I gotta go speed. Of course. Right, you look amazing. I'll let you talk to your cousin. And, and go. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> From this morning. From this morning? What have you been doing? Did you I know this to, man? I went to Waffle House. Was literally I behind food, me. And I went back to Waffle House and ordered No, right? no, no, no. Let me tell you about Jeremy, how fake he is. So he's literally in my Tennessee State video, right? Mm -hmm. You see where I am? Yeah. That's literally where Jeremy was. So I turn around the camera and I'm looking and I was like, that's Jeremy. <laughs> didn't speak, didn't say hey. When was this? Like, two years ago. That's a far, that's far away. I don't remember that game. Nope. Mm hmm. Go and get yourself a. probably was intoxicated. Nope. Nope. True. Nope. Oh, I'll pull up the video. I'll pull up the clip. Uh uh, that sounds like a personal problem. No. Blue fire all day. It's all about the mob. All about what, the mob. What's, what's your insta? Uh, 19 Alex underscore Vaughn 14. Captain Thought of America. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> Hi. So, what's your insta so they can follow you? My Instagram is at the uh, Tay, uh, T A Y underscore. Okay, and what are your plans after graduation? Oh my gosh, I'm thinking about going into production. So, okay. what's your I love major? To write, so, my major is communications media with the concentration in production. That was me! Yes. Oh my gosh, we gotta Black connect. Girls in media. Yes. So, wherever God tells me to go. I got you. Well, make I'm sure you're go. a member of NABJ. Yeah. And I'm going to add you on my personal Insta and we'll connect. Okay, thank you so much. Well, they put the thing out there for Jelani. Yeah, that's how they release the balloon. Uh. Oh, wow, how they got rid of it? Wait, what was this? Was this the old cafeteria? Okay, this was the old cafeteria. Oh, this is where the flame was. I guess they're going to redo it now. Did you know that there's a Bib Graves building on every campus in the state of Alabama? Hey, <laughs> okay, so this used to be my dorm. Cause it's the only dorm you could have a private room, but it's offices now. We're the only college in the world with our own zip code. Wings. No, go and eat your blinder. You try to get me on camera eating. Well, if you have to. Ew. It's an ASMR video now. <laughs> what, let you hit a crunch? Basically. Oh, we might gotta zoom in. Y'all, Peter from Real Housewives of Atlanta. Came to homecoming. You are silly. <laughs> so, that's this beautiful man. He looks old. No, he He's like a fine grandpa. <laughs> well, we're going to try to record him. He's big. He is big. And black. Not like 
yeah. big. He's like organized fat. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this rock. Ooh. Yes, this is as a highlight. This is a 15 years of marriage and four kids by the same man get you. Four? Yes. We got twins coming. Get off we go away. This is my surrogate, y'all. So, when I have my babies. I'm retired, so I hope she's not talking about the future. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, girl. Mm -hmm. Welcome back to a takeoff Twilly vlog. It is Alabama A&M University's homecoming. My school, my home, I'm so excited, especially because I haven't been here since 2019 and when I vlogged that one. So if you haven't seen that vlog, definitely go check it out. It's game day and it's a huge game day because we are three and one. We should be four and oh, but it's whatever. And we are playing Mr. Prime Time at Jackson State. And like basically both of our records are three and one. We're both really good. Whoever wins today will probably end up being swag champions this year. And we are the reigning swag champion and we're gonna keep that trophy at home. So they need to win today. They, they really need to win today. Both teams are really good. It is a lot of people. The game starts at two and it's 12.42 now. Traffic has already been bad. I've been by the stadium like earlier this morning and it was already a line. Jackson State's here. Like they came in full fold. So I don't know if like a lot of people are here just cause like the hype around the game. Oh, this is our first time since COVID. Whatever, but it's a lot of people in the city. It took us forever in a day to find that we're doing maroon out for the game, so they want everyone to wear a maroon t-shirt. Everybody was sold out of maroon, of course. Me and my friend Ja'Cory woke up early, riding around looking for vendors and anybody selling any type of A&M t-shirt, so we finally found someone. So that's where my shirt came from. My earrings came from Ross. Like, you really can't see him behind all this hair, but my earrings came from Ross. My hair came from Hello fly my glasses came from her wealth collection and I just have on some Bermuda shorts from Old Navy and my white tennis shoes from Yeezy via Amazon that is my OOTD so I'm heading to the stadium now I'm gonna show you the band Jackson State's band is here too so I'm excited to see them all the pumps and circumstances that come with homecoming so I'm super excited we're gonna meet up with Ja'Cory actually I need to call her now too to see what like, she wants to meet up at yeah I'm really I'm really really excited and can't wait to see all my friends and people I haven't seen in years we went out last night and I saw people I know for a fact I have not seen them in 10 years crazy but what's also like the coolest and funniest thing about homecoming and I don't know like I said maybe because of like COVID or whatever else it just felt so good to be home usually when I feel like that was when I was living in Miami because Miami was completely different from what I've ever experienced but like living in Charlotte now it's kind of like Huntsville or kind of like Alabama like what I'm used to but I guess that just unwavering feeling of like you know familiarity familiar being familiar with the area and just like I guess like what you grew up as like a person as an adult just where your life truly changed in this city I guess that's just nostalgic just taking over I don't know but it it feels really good to be in Huntsville and to be home and to see all my friends and have a good time so I hope you enjoy the vlog and I'm about to let y'all go because I need to pay attention so I don't miss my turn. Um, next time you see me will be at the stadium. All right, bye. What? Hello? We finally found each other. Finally. Girl, it was so much traffic on Meridian. Like where MLK was, that's where I was stopped. What? Yeah. See, yeah, I came in from the, you know, the back way. Dorm. Oh, dang, I can't even say that thing. But anyway, if you know, you know. Oh, the cornfield. Where Brianna? I'm like, Brianna, you used to be out there, girl. Right. Wait, where do the band practice now? Hi, West. It was like, nah, bruh. That's just the basic outfit, maroon and blue. <laughs> Y'all, this girl just said, is that the basic outfit for today? Maroon shirt and jeans? Yes, it is. It's 
getting hot. Well, I have to bleep that out. It's a football game. This is not Club Envy. This is not the Cavs. This is not every sunny Wednesday. It's a month football game. I don't think I've seen the stadium this packed like ever. Man. All righty. So, to everyone who couldn't make it, y'all, we're getting a new gym. And Really? You messed up my vlog. With the passing of graduate and Omega Phi Phi member Giovanni mm. Day, an aspiring speech pathologist, Day attended Alabama A&M and earned his bachelor's in communicative sciences and disorders before pursuing his master's at Illinois State University. We now ask you, please remove your hats, bow your heads. In a moment of silence, in memory of Mr. Giovanni Day. Like, no more, what's the name of that gym? I don't know, whatever the name of the old gym is, it's gonna be gone. So that's what that is. And I guess it'll be done in 2022, 23. Are you finished? 